want to apologise in advance if there's like a weird background noise. It is absolutely bucketing down with rain outside. <laughs> but unfortunately my um, weather control powers are on the fritz today so I can't do anything about it and I still want you to film my videos. So I am here today to do a book review of The Vegetarian by Han Kang. This is a translated novel, tr translated by Deborah Smith and published by Portobello. It is, a, it is set in South Korea where the author was originally born. As far as I'm aware this is the only one of Kang's um, books that has been translated into English so far which is a shame because I love this book but I'm hoping that this is the beginning of something and more of her books get translated into English in the near future because I really really enjoyed this one. It comes in at 183 pages so it's a really quick book, it's short but beautiful and just like on point. The essential concept is about this woman who decides to become a vegetarian which is incredibly uncommon where she's from. Um, She's definitely, is definitely considered strange and the people around her are confused, not just by the fact that she decides to become a vegetarian, although she's actually become a vegan because she does give up animal byproducts as well, but the fact that she's not done this for any logical reason that they can see. She won't explain herself to anybody why she's become a vegetarian and she hasn't chosen to replace her meat eating diet with a healthier vegetarian or vegan diet. She is kind of wasting away and is Re become really unhealthy. She's definitely gone to quite extremes and her like sort of stoic silence is making everyone around her quite concerned. Some for more selfish reasons than others. So the first part of this book where um, she becomes a vegetarian is told from the perspective of her husband who definitely just sees his wife as a servant, a cook, a maid, potential um, conduit for his children. He's not a very kind or identifiable character. So he provides one perspective on his wife. The second section is then told from the perspective of her sister's husband. He's like a wannabe filmmaker who's not made anything in a long time and he becomes infatuated by her, becomes fascinated by her and her weird tendencies and kind of creates her into a sexual object for his fantasies, therefore providing another interesting perspective on her plight. Again, one that's not particularly sympathetic to what's going on with her. And then the third section is told from the perspective of her sister. Now each section follows on from the next a few years later, so they don't just give you the perspective of the same like year or the same few months. Um, the events of the first one then lead to the events of the second section then to the third section. I thought it was a really interesting structure, it was really interesting to see this woman's kind of mental state and kind of her unravelling, kind of what it means to be mad or like what is sanity and all of these kind of questions through the perspective of other people rather than her. It made for a really interesting reading experience. There is a couple of incidents where you get an insight into her mind and her thought process which is quite garbled and lost and paranoid and confused but generally speaking we are an outsider or looking in, trying to put the pieces together much like the people around her and yeah it was just an altogether fascinating book. I love the narrative structure. It's a sad book and a disturbing book and a questioning book and all of these kind of good things that you like in a book. The cover itself is quite interesting. Um, it looks from far away just like some lovely pink flowers but then you look up there's lots of hidden images in it. One of the most obvious is here this chunk of meat. There's also a tongue down here pretending to be a petal. Smaller there's like an eye here, I don't know if you can see that. Um, some fingers actually sticking out of here. A little fly here, etc etc. The design itself is done by Tom Daracott. The translator has done a really good job of taking what I imagine is a beautifully written book and transposing it into an equally beautifully written book in English. It is really gorgeous to read. I honestly could not put it down. It was it was simple, easy to read, but beautiful, if that makes sense. With some really interesting imagery that kind of flows throughout the novel. It's one of these books that's going to stick with me and I don't think I'll be forgetting it in a hurry. It might even be a book I decide to reread. And there are a few like shocking, gruesome or violent moments, although the whole book has an overall feeling of kind of calmness and tranquility about it. So yeah, I would highly recommend this book. So I hope you enjoyed this review and if you check this book out, let me know. If you've already read it, also let me know. Love to hear your thoughts on it. Um, and until next time guys, happy reading. I'll see you all again soon. Bye.